welcome to the second tech chat. I am with Laurent today. Hello, Hello. Delphine. How, How are, are you? you? Here is the end of the day, so I don't have my coffee today because it's too late. But I hope you have yours because today we are going to talk about REST API extensions. Laurent is going to answer all your questions about that. So Laurent, when are we developing REST API extensions? So Delphine, we are using REST API extensions uh, when developing uh, UI designer pages or forms. This means you can call those REST API extensions in the same way that uh, the provided uh, REST API from the Bonita portal. So that you can customize your call, your content, and uh, what you want to achieve with this content. For example, uh, displaying a graph or a dashboard or everything that you, you need to display with this information. Okay, thank you. That's quite powerful, I guess. Yeah, in fact, you have the, the ability to connect to the Bonita engine. So you can have access to all the Java APIs and get access to all the information required in your process and also extend with informations from the identity part. This means uh, retrieve a username or email and all the information, of course, that uh, around variables uh, that you host in your process. It can be business data or simple variables and also get uh, information about attached documents and how you need to display the right information to your end user. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for that webinar. My question is, it's possible to have multiple endpoints in the same REST API because I just tested one and while creating it, the wizard would ask for uh, the endpoint name and uh, whether it is a post, a get uh, and so on. So I felt that it would be one endpoint and if I want to have another uh, endpoint, I would have to create another REST API. So is it one-to-one -one or it can have multiple endpoints? Okay, so you can have multiple uh, endpoints in the REST API. When you are using the Studio Wizard, uh, it proposes you to have one endpoint. And uh, you have a specific file, which is called page.properties, where you have information about the uh, extension name, uh, which uh, method, get, post, or so on, and uh, which path you will uh, require to call uh, your REST API. But you can, in fact, have had several uh, extensions in the same bundle, the same zip file that is produced when you deploy the REST ex extension. So you don't need to have several projects. If you have four extensions, you can package all of them grouped by uh, the same category or topics in, uh, in one single project. In fact, each endpoints uh, will associate several information. The first one is uh, the method, uh, get, for example. The second one is uh, which permission you want to require from your user to allow access to the to the, to the call, and the last one is uh, which uh, which Java Groovy class uh, will handle the call. So this way you can have several endpoints in the same project, but you can have some uh, code that you can share across your four or, or more extensions in the same project. Um, API REST extension can be used to make some crude operation? Uh, in fact, we use uh, REST API extensions uh, mostly for the get uh, to retrieve information. Uh, since it's for the UI parts, but behind the scene you have processes. So uh, you have to respect a good practice, uh, which is to use a process to update the business data values. So. Uh, one example of using a CRUD approach uh, would be to store some information uh, like a list of product list, uh, but it's supposed to be a reference data. So sometimes it's uh, more stored in a database. So you can use the REST API extension, for example, to, to use the CRUD operations uh, on those data. But uh, sometimes you maybe want to have a for fine control using a process so you can have traceability of uh, what has been done and who did the operation. So sometimes we just restrict to the get uh, in order to, to have a clear separation uh, between how to handle data and how to retrieve and display to end user. Uh, what is the question or the main differentiator that would uh, decide uh, whether you use REST API extension 
of Bonita, or you would create your own API externally. Uh, so, if I understand well your questions, it's uh, what is the difference between using REST API extensions instead of having a specific endpoint uh, apart from the Bonita? Uh, the main interest to use REST API extensions is that you will benefit from all the security layer uh, provided by uh, the Bonita platform. This means that in the same way that for REST API provided by uh, the Bonita portal, like uh, VPN APIs, or BDM or identity or all the API that you can find in our documentations, uh, you will benefit from the, the same system and the same um, context that will give you information about the user that makes the request and also uh, an access, direct access to, to the engine APIs. If you want to build the same things in an external system, you will have to connect to the platform and uh, you, you won't benefit to, to this direct access. Yes, uh, understood. And if the REST API extension is done using Groovy, will it be possible to consume uh, Java jar files, right? Normal, as uh, it, is, it would be Java. Yes. Uh, when you define a REST API extensions uh, using the results, uh, in fact, uh, initially only Groovy was available, but now Java will be also available. And starting with uh, 2021.2 versions that will come uh, soon in September. You will also have um, a SDK provided by Bonita. This means that you can choose uh, when you set up uh, this Maven archetype to use uh, Java or Groovy as you prefer. And uh, you can mix also both, but uh, sometimes if you're more fluent using Java, you can use uh, plain, plain Java in your REST API extension. Can you use the generated DAO of business subjects in REST API extensions? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, when you generate uh, the business data model uh, DAO, uh, the, um, the studio will provide a specific jar that would give you access to the business subject DAO. So you can use it as a dependency in your REST API extension. Uh, please keep in mind that if you want to do an insert or update operations, we recommend to use a process and a, a process operation instead of a REST API extension. But this means that you can use REST API extensions with the BDM DAO, for example, to retrieve a product list or any uh, business object that you have in your, uh, in your business data model. Can this API be used to integrate Bonita with apps like Alfresco or others? Uh, when you call uh, REST API extensions, uh, you, you can have two use cases. The first one is to just enrich uh, API um, that you have to build a living app, for example, in a UI designer, UI designer page. Uh, you have also another use case uh, that could be to connect to external systems or to offer a endpoint for external systems. This means that your Alfresco platform can uh, use a specific REST API endpoints to get some information, for example, about documents, since Alfresco is a gel. Uh, but you can also use the REST API extensions to connect to your external system and retrieve information. You have another option uh, that will be to use a connector, but it mm -hmm. uh, has a part of the process. Yeah, from this process side, you have a connector, and especially we have a, a standard connector called CMIS where you can connect to uh, all uh, content management systems, including Afresco. How to export the data as you are going on with the answer? So if you want to export the data, you can uh, build a specific REST API that would connect uh, using the, the database uh, data source name. And you can find uh, an open source project in, uh, in the Bonita community, which is called BDM Queries. Uh, that will allow you, allow you to do some specific uh, SQL queries. And uh, when you use REST API, the most common format to export data is a JSON. So you can get this JSON and store it to reuse it in a, in a different data. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, 
uh, my remaining question is related to the configuration file. Uh, so in case uh, I have more than one REST API extension, uh, and also this applies for other components inside a certain Bonita project, it, may, it might be a connector or uh, any other component, maybe uh, actor filter, etc. Is there a way to have one master configuration file so you would not have to uh, repeat uh, your configuration in different components? Um, okay, so uh, with the 2021.2 20, versions, uh, we will introduce a Maven approach for Bonita project. This means that you can have a, a specific project uh, has Maven dependencies that will include your configuration files, and we use it across uh, REST API extensions since it's a uh, it's a Maven project also, and uh, also use it in actor filters and whole extension points. This way, you can uh, have a common and shared library in your project, and we use the same configuration. Another option is to use the process parameters and to store them as a process parameters variables, and then query using REST API uh, Java methods to get uh, the value of these parameters. But uh, I suggest that you should use a shared library and include it as a dependency in your, your different Maven REST, REST extension for them. Is uh, talking about good practices um, of development because I see questions about how to develop and uh, you answered question about what can be done with get, post, and so on. So maybe we could share some good practices. Yeah. So uh, I already talked about the fact that we recommend to use get method because we want to restrict the the right or debt operations uh, to process parts, but uh, a good way also to use REST API extensions is to group several calls into a single one. This means that you can group, uh, for example, five uh, REST calls to BPM API, to Identity API, and Documents API, and so on. Uh, so this means that you will have only one call to the server and get the aggregated information. So that's a reduction of the bandwidth, and uh, it's maybe easier to test. So another recommendation uh, is also to try to provide to use uh, the provided uh, test test framework uh, that you have in the uh, archetype in the SDK. This means that you can uh, simulate uh, the behavior of your APIs and ensure that your REST uh, extensions will return the expected content. Uh, Last but not least, when you're using a REST API extensions, uh, for example, in a UI designer data table widgets, uh, you have some specific options to, to get um, status codes and also pagination items in a kind of headers. This means that when you use a REST API extension that you want to consume in a data table uh, with paginated results, uh, you may include in your headers and response header of your REST API extensions a uh, specific uh, page uh, page number and page uh, compay page header, so that the UI designer will interpret these headers and hold, automatically provide your paginations. So this will avoid you to manually add a kind of pagination and reduce, of course, the the load on the database. So thank you, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tech chat. Thank, thank you, Thank you, Delphine. Thank you, all. Bye-bye. Have a nice day or a nice evening. Bye-bye.